coming. Well, don't stop now and tell everyone. What happened? Hey. What happened? No, stay, stay. You were just hollering. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Holler. What was it? I don't know. I promise you they know when you turn the camera on. She's been hollering at me for 10 minutes. What happened? So everybody, <laughs> I put her phone down there. What happened? I know it's dirty. Don't show everybody. <sighs> Prim. Oh, she is the most stubborn little thing in the world. Okay, so I lost her. <laughs> no, don't, don't judge me. I lost her. It stormed. Really bad. Look at that. I know. Yeah, there you go. What? You want to start talking about the storm? Here. Come. I know. Come on. So, it stormed really bad this morning. And Prim hates storms. And she normally goes and gets under my bed. But I was really tired when I got up and I didn't think about it. So, um, I didn't leave my door open. I normally shut it because I don't want any kittens in it, whatever. Well, I couldn't find her. I could not find her, and I could not find her, and I was freaking out, and uh, it was terrible, and then I could hear her because she's very vocal most of the time, aren't she? And she makes this noise, like, I, I call it her predator noise, but whatever, and so finally I was like, uh, that sounds like it's coming out of a foster room. And I opened the door to the foster room, and she's just staying in there looking at me. And keep in mind, I looked for her for like an hour. And it didn't occur to me to look in the foster room because she hates kittens and never goes in there. But I guess when I had opened the door, there must have been like a clap of thunder or something, and she had just like bolted in there. And I, I don't know. But she didn't do anything to the kittens. Because I was like, I checked over all the kittens to make sure they were okay. Because she can be mean. Hey. Come on, everybody. And then she was doing her feet because she stepped in their water a hundred times. She must have been running around. I felt really bad. I held her for a while. See, I'm filming her to prove a point. She is insane. And they're eating. <laughs> I don't know when she eats. When do you eat? <laughs> it's really funny to me. I mean, like, I just brought in new food. And they are chowing. And look at the mess, but... Whatever. I'll clean it up later. Hey. Hey. What are you going to eat? Hmm? Don't you get my hand. I can see you looking. That will hurt. Don't do it. What? Ha ha. Ha ha. I win. I win. I do. Go eat. Are you done? Are you done? Say yes. Oh, my camera won't focus. But that's the only reason I started filming. Because that one doesn't eat. And it won't focus, so. Look who's in a 
different spot. Yes, I know. I know. I was so excited to come in and see she was somewhere else. I know. You finally left the top of the cage. What? Okay, look at this one. What? That's my face. And then the little gray one, you can't see, but it's on this shelf right here sleeping. It's a gross day. I know, I see. I'm not going to touch you. Oh, no, little one, get down. Um, it's a gross day outside. And they've really been sleeping most. Oh, there you go. What you doing? Hey, what you doing? You know what, look. Oh, I know. Tell your brother and sister to love me. Yeah, tell them to love me. Don't you jump on me. Oh, look at the size difference. Oh, goodness. They're getting too big. They do have um, some people coming tomorrow. Well, I don't know about for all three. Oh, oh, oh. almost fell. This room is um, can be dangerous. But fingers crossed. Some of them. Oh. oh, you can't see. But he's with the gray one. I'm not sure what they're doing. Why do you always go and take a nap? Okay, well, today's video, well, it actually probably won't be short. Oh, <laughs> come on. What you doing? Come on, up, up. Um, because it'll probably have mail time, because I'm trying to get caught up on mail times. Uh, because I want to do a Christmas one to show, like, the Christmas cards and stuff. So I need to get everything else done. Um, and I promise you soon, uh... I will do a video on everything that's been happening. Um, but everyone is still good. Hope is doing wonderfully. Um, she's getting bigger. Uh, she has, she still doesn't have firm poop, uh, but we're working on that. We Right after Christmas, she's gonna have another like full evaluation. Um, because she's staying on her medication. Oh my gosh, I almost fell again. She is staying on her medication um, regimen until then. Oh my goodness, the little, oh good, she went to eat. She kept like going around my ankles and almost fell. Uh, she is going on, anyway, after that, which will be after Christmas, she's going to have a full workup um, to see if anything has changed. Because uh, obviously something has because she's growing and she's not leaking. I know I love you. Uh, but she still does not have solid poop. So, and then hopefully, fingers crossed today, I will find out about Luna's blood work. Because um, I won't know any other further updates until her blood work comes in. I know it's dark. I'm sorry. I thought this was cute. And I had an update on Luna. Look, it's Hope. She's sleeping. And there's Sierra. She's cleaning. And Shira. And Chica. I don't know where anyone else is. But anyway. Okay, so I just got an update from the vet. And it's exciting news about my stomach hurts. Luna's blood tests all came back normal all of the blood work for the very first time came back normal her count her blood count you know that was at 24 is at 39 which is great 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 it had to be above 31 for them to do surgery and it is oh did i say 39 is it 37 
Um, I'm not sure what I said. I'm very excited. I'm sorry. Now, that means that Luna will have her surgery this week. I'm going to go ahead and admit something that I am quite embarrassed about. But I did ask the vet not to tell me what day her surgery is going to be. Um, and she couldn't schedule it yet anyway because she wanted um, a, a certain vet tech to assist her with the surgery. And she hasn't talked to that vet tech yet. So she wasn't sure what day it was going to be. Um, they have to put their schedules together. And I asked her not to tell me um, until after it was over. And I, that is embarrassing and it's terrible probably to some of you. But I cannot take it. I cannot take the... Because we don't know how long the surgery is going to last and, and all that. And I cannot take the stress. I'm just not good with those kind of things. Um, when they go in for spay and neuter surgery, I'm a wreck. And that's a regular everyday surgery. So I can't. I just can't. Um, but I will be sure um, to update if I have any other further updates. Uh, I know I do want to remind everybody this is... A risky surgery um, but you know at least she is as healthy as she can be and I'm going to remain positive Patricia sent over some food and litter which always always makes me very very happy it says hi community enjoy your gift from Patricia and um, she sent over a bag of the Purina one healthy metabolism um, which is my favorite thing to feed the big ones um, at the moment. Uh, it's empty. It's it's not all gone. I always put the big bags in um, these airtight containers, and uh, that's what I did. But I kept the bag so I could show everyone. And then she sent over a jug of the Nature's Miracle um, fast acting clumping litter, which is my absolute fave, as everyone knows. And then she sent over there were four. For some reason, everything came really squished in this box. Um, these two things came in a different box. But this box was really squished. I mean, it doesn't matter. It didn't hurt anything. But um, that's why, you know, and they have been used. Like, these two have been used. And then there was a seafood and that's all that's left. <laughs> but she sent over um, two cases of the poultry and beef pate, which is a... I mean, it's what I first start feeding everyone. So, love it, love it. And then a case of the poultry and beef grilled. And then this was a case of the Fancy Pea Seafood Grilled. Um, and that's all that's left. But that case was actually really smush. So, I just emptied all the cans, like, into that part of the box and then just started using them. <laughs> like that. So, thank you, Patricia, very, very much for helping keep the babies fed. Um, oh, oh, I thought Hope was going to come over here for a second, but then she decided not to. Um, thank you so much, Patricia. Okay, Prim has come back. Prim, please don't mess that up. Please. Oh, I've had it in the box. Um, Christina sent us um, some presents, and I've had it in the box that came in because I don't want it to get messed up. Um, it's so, so cute. Uh, and I don't have it layered correctly. Because uh, it's actually going to go back in the box. Because. Um, I am going to save at least two pieces of it. It's Christmas. Like there's present. Well, I don't know. It might be birthday. But to me, it seems Christmassy. And, um, you know, it's that season. And I do have plans for a Halloween video and a Christmas video. Uh, and I think... I'm going to at least save this piece and the littler piece. I may give the other two pieces out, but I'm, I want to save them for the Christmas video. So, I really don't want it to get messed up. Um, and then she also sent, this is one of those cardboard houses. Um, and look, it's so, so, so cute. Uh, and this is being saved as well until everyone is litter box trained enough to where they don't have poop on their paws and may actually go in the Halloween video. Um, if I can get my ideas in order. Hey, Hope. What are you doing? Come here and let me get that whatever's on your whisker off. She's not going to let me. 
And this is one of the microwavable um, heat packs, which uh, I love. I've explained a million times. They're my absolute favorite. I recommend them for anyone, anyone, regardless of whether you have cats or kittens or whatever. But if you ever need heat, uh, they're my favorite. Cream, honey, I love you. Here, look, look, show up on your pretty face. I know you're so cute. Look at those whiskers. And I'm actually really excited. This is going to be a tangent, but I'm so excited for this winter because this will be Prim's first winter as an adult cat. And I really want to see if she grows a mane like a uh, fig does. You know, fig gets a mane. Well, She-Ra does too. She-Ra and fig. No, 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 no. She-Ra. <laughs> That's, I need that. Shira and Fig both grow manes uh, all the way around in the winter. And I'm really excited to see if Prim does because Prim will look amazing with those whiskers and a mane. Anyway, back to Christina's wonderful presents. And she also sent a snuggle kitty, which I was really excited about because I haven't gotten a new one in a long time and I forgot how soft they are. Eventually, after a ton of washing and bleaching, you know, they lose their softness. Um, and I do. I put one of these in with any litter that doesn't have a mom or any single cat. Uh, always gets one. Um, so, I was really excited. I did. I forgot how soft they are. They're very, very soft. And then she sent over this cute, cute blanket. This hedgehog blanket, which is really soft as well um on both sides they're just different softness and it's gorgeous it's actually uh, like a plum gray color it is beautiful christina and then she sent um the folding cat bed and i think this is what i'm gonna put in the nursery in the corner um it depends i haven't actually opened it yet um but if it seems like it is able to be sanitized well um, then I am. It does have fabric sidewalls, so I'm not sure. It may go in here with, um, the kittens I keep in here or like the big cats because they're not near as messy. Um, hi, you got it off. Oh, okay. She, she's like, don't touch me. Um, she got it off her whiskers. So we'll see where that's going to go. And then I'm so excited. It is starting to get cold here. And these are fluffy, uh, soft socks. And if you've watched my videos long enough, you know I hardly ever wear shoes. Uh, it is mostly socks and slippers. <laughs> and um, a thing of baby face cloths. I believe they feel like they are muslin or linen, um, which is my favorite kind of cloth to use. Uh, especially on the smaller kittens. Uh, they're easier to handle. And then these are really plush um, face cloths. Um, and, and they're the bigger ones for the bigger cats, which I love. And these are, um, I used to call them burp rags, but I don't know. I don't know what the name of them are, but they're sort of like this, but bigger. Um, which I haven't ever used any this size before, so I'm actually uh, excited to see how those work. And then two tubes of the NutriCal, uh, the Tomlin NutriCal, swear by this stuff. Swear by it. I give it to them um, on spoons. I add it to medicines and give it to them in a syringe. I will add it to K-Rose syrup in warm water and give it in a syringe. This stuff is very versatile and it works. It is wonderful. It is a type of micronutrient. i um, been learning a lot since I've gotten hope about microbiomes and micronutrients, but that's what this is. It is a type of micronutrient which is very good for kittens and their digestive absorption. And there are two of those, which never can have enough. And then she also sent, oh, I cannot breathe. She also sent two packs of the disinfecting wipes. I've already used one whole one and then one out of here. 
Uh, they go very, here, I kept this so I'd remember that there were two. Sorry, Christina. But, great that you sent them. I really, really needed them. Um, but they are my favorite disinfecting wipes. And then last but not least, she sent over two boxes of my favorite wipes. Love these wipes. Um, and as you can see, I have already used all but two packages. But I always keep these boxes because to me, these are the best play boxes for the kittens. Um, I always just open one in. I know this is dumb, but it is. It's so reusable because these are really thick and sturdy. Like, I could stand on this. It is so thick. They're the best little houses. Best. So, I always keep all those. <laughs> so, thank you, Christina, very, very much for the goodies for all of us. Um, and I will, oh, and she also sent two beds. You've probably seen them in videos already. Uh, the really plush cream colored hairy like bed for Hope. And then the pink polka dot bed in the nursery that everybody loves. Um, I couldn't wait to film. I couldn't wait to use them to film. So they have already been used, but Christina sent those as well. So thank you. Thank you very much.